In this video I will explain sections. A section is a separate area of a map that can be hidden from view. The default section is the surface. To create a new section you need to use what is called a cave linkable. There are various types but for now I will demonstrate using a tunnel vertex object. The parameter names are missing but this is the tunnel radius and this is the resolution. It is a good idea to choose a number with many factors, such as 48. If I create two of them and link them together, they form a cylinder. Each vertex can be scaled separately, and the link is bidirectional, so it does not matter which way you make it. It is also possible to press Shift E for extrude to duplicate the selected object and make a link at the same time. Tunnel vertex objects have plenty of quirks, but that is not really what this video is about, so I will leave it at that. This network of tunnel vertex objects now forms its own section. In addition, if you place ordinary objects inside of it, they will also be part of this section. If you tab out of the editor, you will not be able to find the section, because it is hidden. Furthermore, if you set the starting checkpoint inside of this section, then everything other than this section will be invisible. You can verify this by pressing Ctrl H to no clip through the ceiling. You can also press Ctrl Shift H to go through the floor. To move between sections you need to use a door. A suitable door for this case is the vault door. Connect the door to an adjacent tunnel vertex and add a couple of triggers to open the door. Since the door is only connected to a cave linkable on this side, the other side is implicitly connected to the surface. Now if you open the door, it bridges the two sections and you can pass between them. When the door closes, any section that is no longer reachable is made invisible. Collisions are also not processed for hidden sections. This is one of the most important optimization strategies used in the game. By hiding rooms that are behind closed doors, the engine can avoid doing any computations for objects in those rooms. Obviously, this doesn't help much if your entire map takes place outdoors. It is also mostly irrelevant for small maps, but if you want to make highly detailed maps with indoor or underground areas, then it is very useful. A problem that you can run into is if your cave linkable is on the wrong side of the door. If this is the case, then the game will get slightly confused and not be able to detect which section the player is in. There are at least two ways around this. One is to use the flip sides property of the door. This simply swaps the two sides of the door. The other method is to use the section bridge to act as an intermediary between the door and the cave linkable. So instead of linking this to the door, I link it to the cave linkable, which is then linked to the door. The door can now detect that this is on the right side of the door. Another notable property is the is entrance property. Enabling this will connect this cave linkable to the surface. In this case, that will cause this entire network to be a part of the surface as well so this section will now never be hidden. A more versatile type of cave linkable is the Volcave Mesh. It allows you to use a 3D model as the section hull. The object is mostly identical to Vol Obje Mesh, except that it is a cave linkable. Here I have created a separate object, which is a continuation of the cave entrance I made in part 7. It is a good idea to make sure the object's origin is on the correct side of the split. For my own convenience, I typically make one keyframe where the network is assembled, and one keyframe where they are placed at the origin. This way I can switch between them and go to the origin keyframe before exporting. As always, make sure you use the correct export settings. You can connect the Volcave mesh to a door, just like you would with the tunnel vertex. The system detects if an object is inside of a section by scanning up and down. This means that there is a chance of errors if your model has holes in the floor or ceiling, such as this model from Dronningsøy. If I put an object inside of this hole, then it will not be picked up by this section. 
in addition objects whose origins are far outside of the hull will also not be picked up even if they pass through the hull. There are two ways to deal with this. One is to use the slack property which is found in the location and metadata tab. The slack is roughly a maximum distance that an object can be from the interior in order to get included in this section. The other way is to use a section glue object. This is a type of cable linkable that is normally invisible and has no collisions, but it will capture the object inside of the radius, so you can link it to the main hull. If you would like to use sections but don't want any of these big doors, it is possible to use an invisible door object. In this case, it is important to place the split somewhere out of sight. You can open the invisible door using an invisible trigger object, such as the trigger cube. Make sure this trigger covers the entire area where the split can be seen. If you do this correctly, then sections that cannot be seen will be hidden without the player noticing. Finally, you can use a section trigger object to generate messages when sections become visible or invisible. The section trigger has multiple modes. Surface visible means the object will send an on message when the surface section becomes visible, and an off message when the surface section becomes invisible. Connected nodes visible sends an on message when any of the linked cave linkables is visible. To make use of this, you need to link the section trigger to a cave linkable. To demonstrate, I can trigger a sound player object. A sound player can play back any of the sounds in the sounds directory inside of the resource directory. Use the part of the name before the file extension. This should make the sound play as soon as the inner part of the cave becomes visible. Connected and not visible behaves like the last one, except that the on message is not generated until the surface is also made invisible. Connected exact all means that all of the connected cave linkables must be visible and no other sections. Connected exact either sends a known message when any of the linked cave linkables are visible and none of the sections that are not linked. As you can guess, you can link the section trigger to multiple cave linkables. Here is a list of the hotkeys introduced in this video. As usual, I will put the full list in the video description.